not believe this, but it was thousands of times smaller than a pinhead. It was just a tiny bubble, but it was hotter and denser than any match. Then, suddenly, the bubble exploded. Boom. Dun, dun, dun. That explosion is called the Big Bang. Astronomers believe that the Big Bang happened 13.7 billion years ago, and then humans appeared. Just kidding. You don't have to wait for over 13 billion years until the first human appeared on Earth. Remember, the Earth didn't even exist then. The first galaxies began to form about 12 billion years ago. The sun in our solar system wasn't created until about 4.6 billion years ago. The Earth was formed about 4.5 billion years ago, and only about 3.6 billion years ago, the first bacteria appeared. The first dinosaurs appeared 230 million years ago, and our earliest ancestors just 4 million years ago. Now, when you know the universe is past and the present, you might want to know the future of the universe. The energy of the Big Bang was so enormous that even now, almost 14 billion years later, the universe continues to expand and new stars continue to form. Also, the universe is expanding faster and faster that eventually you'll reach the speed of light. At that point, the galaxy will be so far away from each other that scientists won't be able to see any of them from Earth. Besides, no aliens will ever reach us since they will be so far away from us. At some point, the energy of the Big Bang will start to, de start to decrease, and in the very distant future, about 100 trillion years from now, the destination will end. The universe will become so cold that no life will exist there. Scientists call the period the Big Freeze. At some point, all the stars will die and turn into, into black holes. There will be one black hole here, and one besides, and one above here. In about one couple of years, the universe will be practically empty. The Big Bang is the most unique phenomenon the scientists have ever found out. And still, there are many questions remaining. For example, where did that tiny bubble come from, and why in the world did it explode? I hope that when we grow up, one of us becomes a scientist and solve this mystery. Thank you.